The formula editor, which is based on the C programming language, enables our users to create custom filters based on the data points that are available in our system. To access the formula editor, go to the toolbar, open the tools tab, and select formula editor. This will bring up the formula editor window. The load dropdown contains all your already created custom filters. Each created custom filter will be saved to your cloud and be specific to your account. Custom filters have their own icons, ranging from U0 to U99, and can be used in your scans just like the built-in filters. Please note that you can only create custom filters, not custom alerts. Once a custom filter has been selected from the drop-down, the source field below will display the underlying formula. You can edit its formula in the source field. To create a new custom filter, select an available U designation from the Create New drop-down. The U selection must be unique. If you create two formulas with the same icon, the second formula will overwrite the first one. I will use the lifetime high as an example. Its formula is high underscore life. If I would like to see the distance of the stock to its lifetime high in dollars, I would enter high underscore life minus price. The code checker will automatically analyze the input and inform you of any errors in the status line below the source field. In addition to that, it will inform you in which trade ideas windows your custom filter can be used. The standard C operators, Boolean expressions and if statements, can be used to create your custom formulas. But, the formula editor isn't a code compiler, meaning you are limited to the data points listed in the custom filter documentation. Once you have entered your formula, give your custom filter a descriptive name in the description field or edit an already given one. Enter the filter output, for example dollar, percent, ratio, in the unit field on the right hand side of the description field. In this case I will select dollars. Select the filter format from the format drop down. Price tells the software to automatically pick an appropriate format based on the stock's price. 1 rounds to the nearest integer. 1.00 displays 2 digits after the decimal, and so on. Selecting a graphics display is optional. The default is set to none, but if you create a custom filter that can be graphically displayed, you have the option to select either position in range or triangles. To get more details about any of the available data points, enter them in the source field, then press help. This will load the formula editor help window, which provides detailed information about the chosen filters and symbols. Confirm your custom filter edit or creation by pressing save. Your newly created custom filter will now appear in the load dropdown. If you have edited the formula of an icon, the change will automatically be applied to all strategies that use the icon. To remove an existing custom filter, select it from the dropdown, then press delete. Another way to access, edit and create personal custom formulas is your accounts management page on our website. To access it, go to www.trade-ideas.com and select login on the top right hand side. Next, open the custom formulas section, which lists all your personal custom filters. You can edit or delete any of your custom filters by pressing the edit or delete button to the right of a filter. Below the list, you will have the option to create a new custom filter. The editing and creation process is the same as described above. The help PDF explains the functionality of the formula editor and lists some of the available data points. The link, Filter Codes for Custom Formulas, opens our Filter Codes page which lists most of the available data points that you can include in custom filters. To use your newly created custom filter in an alert or top list window, right-click into it, and select Configure. Now, open the Search tab and enter the name of your custom filter into the search field. Add it by highlighting it and selecting, Add Filter. This will lead you to the Windows Specific Filters tab, where you can enter a minimum and a maximum value, if you so choose. If I left these fields empty and added my newly created custom filter to a scan, I would simply see the distance to the lifetime high of the stock. 
If I wanted to see all stocks that are between $1 and $3 away from their lifetime high, I would enter $1 as the minimum and $3 as the maximum. The power of the formula editor lies in its capacity to mix and match different data points in an almost infinite number of ways. Our preset filters, for example, work in an and fashion, meaning all filter criteria have to be satisfied for a stock to show up in your scan. By using the formula editor, you can combine filters in an either or way. This is just one of the many advantages of the formula editor. Try it out.